Hello Gemini, welcome to the channel. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome. So this is a general love reading. And I'll be looking into the feelings and emotions of the person that you're connecting with on a romantic level. What it is that they're feeling and thinking towards you currently. The deck that I'm using is the Goddess Oracle deck by Amy Sophia Marashinsky. Wow, somebody is not happy, grumpy, angry. This could be somebody who you have had dealings with in the past. I'm actually getting somebody, somebody that you might have worked with. So a few of you may have worked with this individual, maybe currently or in the past. But this is a relationship. This could be a situationship. This could be simply that... You've exchanged glances and you know there's something there, but nobody's saying anything. If I didn't announce it, the deck that I'm using is the Goddess Oracle deck by Amy Sophia Marashinsky. Wow, we. There is a lot going on here, Gemini. So because some of these cards are so intense, this could also mean that you might feel this energy as well. Um, this is your person of interest, what it is that they're feeling and thinking. But because of the types of energies that are coming out here, they're very intense. You may also be mirroring this person or feeling the effect. We do uh, pick up on other people's energy, especially if we are romantically interested in them. So you might be mirroring this person. You might have just picked up on their energy. Wow. Okay. Ah, Gemini. Somebody here wants a second chance. So. We have here. Anger and rage. Doubt. Mothering. Betrayal. Nourishment. Opening laughter, creativity, and then we have death and rebirth under the bottom of the deck, the overall arching theme. I'm going to express to you what it is that your person of interest is feeling towards you currently. My dear Gemini, I'm quite frustrated with the way things have been recently. I'm not happy the way things have turned out. At this point, I may seem to you as short-tempered, passive-aggressive, upset, annoyed, agitated, irritated. I am. Why? Because in this connection, Certain things happened between us, and I reacted in a way, and it hurt you. The fact that we are in this situation, and what has happened, all of this, should actually have never happened at all. This is why I'm doubting that this connection might even work. I have doubts now that the trust, the belief, the faith that we had once, it may not be as strong as we thought. And this hurts because in you I have found someone who shows me unconditional love. I feel that from you. You have this way of nurturing me, of taking care of me. You provide for me. You shelter me and you protect me. No matter what I do, no matter how I behave, you have always been that person that will and that can take care of me. I do feel a sense of betrayal in this connection. 
You thought you knew me, but you never really knew me at all. What happened between us, the way I reacted, the way I behaved, was not the typical me. You thought you could predict me. You thought you knew me. But when I did what I did, it's as if you were staring at a stranger. You didn't know me. You thought you did. And that makes you feel as though I betrayed you. And now I realize that you are somebody who was and who is the complete package. Spiritually, emotionally, and physically, you have this way of fulfilling me. Fulfilling all those aspects in my life that are sometimes empty. You have a way of making everything feel right. And I have kept quiet for quite some time. But I do want to open up to you. There are certain things in my heart and my mind that I keep deep down. I hide this from you. I don't talk to you about it. I don't show you. But going forward, I do want to open up and I do want to show you. I want to express to you certain feelings and emotions that I have inside that I have not, that I've hidden from you. One of the reasons why I can't really leave this connection is because a part of me is so bound to you as a friend. You have this special way, Gemini, of making me feel loved. You make my heart happy. You make me laugh. You are like that sunshine on that rainy day that walks through those doors. I see your face and I smile. You don't really know how much you mean to me, but I understand now because I never really expressed myself in the best way. And now I want to create something with you. Now when things have all gone, things have all gone to hell, now I want to create something with you. Something that will be long-lasting for the world to see. A web of love is what I want to create. But this love that I have, would it stand the test of time? I fear that if you and I were to get together and be the way that you want us to be, an argument could set us back. Spiritually and emotionally, this web would be strong. But physically, would it snap? Would it break away? I fear that it would, which is why I hesitate. Overall, I knew and now I know that in the past, many things happened in the worst kind of way. Things should have been different, but they were not. The road was rough and I was mean. I could have been nicer. Our journey could have been smoother, but it wasn't. I made things difficult. And now, I want to move forward and do things the right way. Have better days ahead. Not make any mistakes. Have the road as smooth as possible. Because I've learned that what I did was not right. 
I want a second chance. All right, Gemini. A lot of ups and downs with this person. The emotions are quite extreme. But they are ultimately really angry at themselves for their behavior. And now the chance that they thought they had with you because of their own actions and whatever interaction they had with you, they're doubting that this connection might work out. But there is that hope where they want to put to death all that happened before and have a rebirth of something new. That would be this connection. All right. It could be that this person may contact you in the future because they do want to open up. So let's have a look at the Lover's Path Tarot. This is any obstacle, any issue, any concerns that might have caused a problem in the first place. Eight of Coins. Hmm. Oh my goodness. Okay, an illusion. All right, so there was quite a difference in the thought process that both of you had. You had a very different type of mindset versus this person. We have here the Eight of Coins and Illusion. Let's have a look at the Eight of Coins. So for some of you, you might have gone through this. You might not have realized why the problem occurred. So these cards indicate that. Of course, this is a general reading, so it won't resonate with everybody out there. So the Eight of Coins it talks about how in this connection, when things started to kind of go downhill, this person was avoiding the work that needed to be done in this connection. They were not putting an effort in. They were trying to bring their talents to the next level. Perhaps it was time for them to have a change in vocation, some type of education. There was also a sense of dissatisfaction for the payment for the work done from their point of view. So this basically means that they were trying to create their future either by going back to school, university, college. It could be some type of training. They might have taken up some type of hobby. They might have tried to upgrade their skills and maybe even uh, change their job. But it has something to do with them and their future and their career for this reason this person was not really able to give you the time energy and effort that you wanted they wanted to bring their talents to the next level and for this reason they were actually avoiding the work that needed to be done with yourself and them so they weren't paying you attention that's what it comes down to you weren't getting the attention that you needed, that you deserved, um, simply because this person was focused elsewhere. Their priorities were different. Unfortunately, at that time, you were not a priority. Something else was. And for them, it was important because they needed to settle down. It does talk about, you know, wanting stability, compensation, work, talents, so let's have a look at Illusion, and that's a really big card. The meaning of Illusion is huge. Um, that's also one of the reasons why they would have avoided putting in the work, because they didn't think it was worth it that much, because they didn't know if this was real or not. Illusion talks about fantasies, using one's intuition or not listening to their intuition, being emotionally detached, and not knowing if this enchantment is just all in their head. At some point in time, Gemini, this person was enchanted by love, for better or for worse. 
but they became confused by their illusions that may or may not have been real. They started to feel intense emotions, but they needed to know what was real. Was this love actual love, or was this infatuation? Was this lust? And was this being reciprocated equally? Here, on the negative aspect, it does talk about how this person and something that caused the problem, Gemini, there was a sense of delusion, there was a sense of deception, and there was discomfort with emotions or relationships. And there was a lack of satisfaction. So that does mean somebody here was delusional. There was the feeling of deception. And there was a feeling of discomfort with their own emotions and the way the relationship was. There was a lack of satisfaction. So two things. This person was busy in their own life trying to settle things. They may have been trying to do this without telling you. Sometimes it takes forever just to write a job application, these days especially. And nobody really has to tell you that, but they might be doing that at their own time. And sometimes it takes an hour, sometimes two, sometimes it takes longer because you have to literally cater your resume. Um, it's something like that that this person was trying to do, but they weren't really telling you about it. In addition to this, they had a problem because they were not giving you that time, energy, effort, and whatever they were seeing from you, they were judging the relationship based on that. So whatever they saw, they thought that that was all it was. Originally, this person was completely, you know, all over you, and then suddenly it appears that they kind of took a step back and then they just ghosted you or they faded or they started to breadcrumb you. Something here happened where there was, there was a change in their energy. Some of you might have experienced this. Because of this, this individual then started to feel maybe this is just in their head. Maybe this really isn't love. They started to doubt themselves. But that doubt only came because they did not invest time, energy, and effort in building this connection. So this person only gave it half their effort and they were expecting the result to be full. That doesn't happen. You have to give 100% in to get 100%. That, you know, it just doesn't work like that. This person really should have concentrated just on one thing told you what they're up to that way you would have probably understood either waited or moved on but not stayed waiting lingering so that's a problem that's something that happened with a few of you out there oh boy four of cups they knew four of cups at the time that certain things could have been accepted taken advantage of this person didn't take advantage of an opportunity. That opportunity was you. My goodness. These cards are really huge. The feeling in these cards are a lot. So this is any intention, any plans, um, any type of um, actions that this person is going to take towards you. So here we have the Four of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, the Six of Cups. Oh my goodness. Okay. Not bad. We have this and fell right on my lap. Upright. Wonderful to see this card. The Two of Cups. Wow. And we have the King of Wands. There's a sense here that the energy has shifted, Gemini. You might be the one now who is busy and you're overwhelmed with work. And you might either be with somebody else this could be or you're just there's a third party essence here just a little bit either you're with somebody or you are doing something that's not allowing you to be with this person this person is in love okay they have fallen in love with you completely 
they feel as though they can't get what they want right now. There's something in the way. And it could be certain efforts that you're putting in and prioritizing in your own life. Now, we have here the Four of Cups. Yes, this individual, first card's the strongest. They really are thinking about, you know, oh shit, I missed out on a good opportunity. That's what they're feeling. But eventually they're going to move on from this feeling. They can't stay in this um, energy forever. The next card you have is the Three of Pentacles. So you remember earlier I said I was getting the energy of somebody working, somebody at your workplace. Well, this card also indicates that. This could have been somebody at your workplace. This could be somebody at your workplace right now, if you're still with them, working there. It just talks about how this person really admires you and they are falling in love with you. But I don't even have to say that because you already got the Two of Cups on the bottom there. This person is in love with you. They are falling in love with you. If you have not worked with this person, then this individual simply wants to manifest something with you and construct a good relationship with you. They want to find some type of excuse to be around you and maybe work on something together just so that they can be close to you and work on the relationship while things grow. Here we also have the Six of Cups. Some of you have had good memories with this person from the past. This is specific. This is for somebody who has had a connection with somebody where you have history. So this person is remembering the past, missing the past, and wanting to relive the past. This individual has been through a lot in terms of thinking. They do feel a little shy. They feel embarrassed. They don't really know how to come back into your life, but they do want you. They want to share those feelings of when you had that first kiss, that first touch, everything, the first time. They miss all of that. All of that newness, that new energy that you guys both had. They want to relive the past because they miss it. Those are the good memories that this person had and then eventually they ended up getting super duper busy. Something happened where their energy was taken away from you. The priorities changed. They do see in you and sense the Queen of Cups. You are somebody who has a lot of love, unconditional love, nurturing a very motherly kind of feeling. I believe you had the card earlier. A lot of nurturing qualities here. This person also wants to reconcile with you because they know they've upset you. They eventually, do I see them coming into your life? I do actually. It appears here that eventually they want to come back into your life. They are going to. They're going to ask for some forgiveness or they're just going to exchange their thoughts, you know, with you, you guys are going to reconcile. There's going to be an exchange of love. There's going to be an offer of love. This could start off as friends and then turn to lovers. But the reason why is this person's really missing you. They are. They're starting to realize how much they actually cherish you. This is exactly why you had that card right in the beginning. Second chance. We also have here the King of Wands. They know that your time, your energy, your effort is being spent elsewhere. And they know it's a struggle. But they're still willing to try to chase you. They're still willing to try. Because they do love you. It's quite sweet. The energy here, I usually don't talk of the energies, but the energy here is the King of Wands. So this could be somebody with fire in their chart who is wanting to come back, but whoever this is, they, it's very fiery in nature. They're very, very passionate about you. They want to be intimate with you, plus they have the emotion. So that's really nice. And all of this occurs after the fact that they realize that, oh my goodness, what have I done? I've lost my Gemini. All right. 
Let's have a look at what the angels have to say about this one. Just going to do a quick prayer. All right. We have here perfect timing. So these messages are brought to you by Archangels Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel. So you have perfect timing, followed by reconsider. Oops. Followed by reconsider. So some of you might have wanted to move this connection forward at your own pace, meaning you wanted to get it done fast. The problem is, really wasn't happening because this person was not ready. Remember, they're still kind of getting over this with the Four of Cups. They're, they're still in their mind about this connection. So you have perfect timing. You have a reconsider. There's big happy changes. Really nice. Then you have remain positive. Choose a new direction. Recovery. Hmm. Then you have opportunity. Okay. Followed by communicate clearly under the bottom of the deck, the overall arching theme. All right. So, Gemini, it's going to be a little bit of a struggle getting back on track with this person for those of you that want to get back with this person. Here, you may want the timing to be different. You may want this really soon because you've been waiting for a while. But the angels here are saying that when it happens, it will be the time for them when it will be right. For you, you are already prepared and ready for this, but they are not. The timing will be perfect on both ends. Here we also have I almost see, yes, an hourglass. This has an hourglass. This angel's holding an hourglass. And the hourglass itself has a balance, right? When both sides are equally balanced, that is when the timing will be perfect. We also have here reconsider. So some of you may have been thinking about doing something differently, they're telling you to reconsider your actions, your intentions, your words, everything that you were thinking in regards to this connection. They want you to rethink that. Think about it twice. There are going to be big, happy changes in the coming future, which is really good. They're going to be big and you're going to be happy about it. That's good. They wish for you to remain positive. The more positive you are, the more positive energy you will be able to attract. Choose a new direction, they're saying. Choosing a new direction, there's two things. They would like you to focus on yourself for now. Let this person grow. Let them change. They will eventually reach out to you. But in the meantime, start taking care of yourself more than you usually do. Why? Because you have the recovery card right next to it. That means that you have not been feeling well. There has been some stress, anxiety. I'm actually getting the word palpitation, heart palpitations. So some of you out there really have been affected and drained by this person and by this connection. You invested a lot and it broke your heart and it's still breaking your heart to this day. Eventually they are saying that an opportunity will be given to you, and that's great. By choosing a new direction, it also means that your path and your destiny will still remain the same, but the road and the route that you may go needs to change. So you may have tried a certain method or a different, uh, same approach with this person over and over again. It is important for you to try a different approach this time because then the result will be different. 
That is what is important. We also have here communicate clearly. Communicating clearly, you're going to get this opportunity when the time is right to communicate with this person. And when you do, whatever you say, make sure that there is just a few points. Usually I tell everybody three to four points. Memorize it. Know exactly what you're going to say. Don't write texts that go on and on. Don't write paragraphs. People don't read it. They read it and they forget it. They can only memorize just a few points. So just talk about what really matters and communicate clearly. This means no taunting, no mocking, no, sarca no sarcasm. You know, just direct. If you're going to get an opportunity, try to use it wisely and know what it is that you need to say when you need to say it. By recovery and with the card remain positive, I do want to encourage some of you if you feel that there is negative energy around you, which I do see here with the recovery card, there's always negative energy around. Um, you can go to my website and uh, place an order for the Holy Light Package. It's a self-help guide. What the Holy Light Package does is I created it to help you get rid of negative energies. So it gets rid of negative energies from your home, from around your aura, and inside of your body because there's so many of them. Now, when you get this, what's helpful is that once you get rid of the negative energy, it will be easier for you to stay positive because the negative energy is no longer blocking or creating blockages. And that is exactly what negative energy does. They act like obstacles. So once you get rid of the obstacles, anything on that roadway that's supposed to come to you will come freely. Anything that is karmically owed to you will come to you. Anything that is written in your book of life, that will come to you. Um, however, if you have a lot of negative vibes around you, even the people that you're living with, if you feel that something or someone's toxic, you're going to have to keep your distance from this type of person or this type of environment because you still will start to absorb that energy and it will be negative. And once again, you won't be able to remain positive. It's not easy remaining positive if you're, if you're in a negative environment. That's not possible. It's actually not possible. It's very difficult um, unless you're a very trained yogi and you can actually, you know, um, what is it called? Like silence out or blind out everybody around you. I don't know what the word is. Um, phase out or something like that. Ah, or you'd rather be in your zone. It doesn't matter. Whatever goes around and on in the world, nothing affects you. If some of you can do that, that's great. But the best thing to do is just stay away from environments like that because the moment that barrier drops, those negative energies can come in and attach themselves onto you. And they feed off of your energy. I will make a video on this on Astonishia Audio um, because I do these type of readings. Um, and so it is important for me to explain it better. I could have just told you guys, hey, go to the channel to learn more. So I, I'll do that next time because um, there's so many people that reach out to me regarding that. Gemini, that is your reading. I hope I was able to provide you with some clarity and some guidance. Thank you, everybody, for your support, your encouragement, and I will see you guys again. All right, then you take care and stay safe. Bye now.